Hello dear students, in the next video of measurements and units, we are going to discuss about scales of unit. Now first, why do we need to discuss about different scales of unit? As we discussed in previous video that whenever we are solving numericals in physics, we need to have different physical quantities to be brought in same system of unit. To do that, we need to understand the conversion factor between families of unit. For example, if I want to convert given grams in kilogram, I know that I have to divide that number by number 1000 because 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. Now, I have drawn similar number line over here wherein we have discussed about different scales of unit. Now, for this line, this is our central reference. Towards the right side of the reference, we have higher scales of unit. Towards the left side of the scale, we have lower units. Now, you can see the factors that we have written on the right as well as on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we have 10 raised to 3, which is called as kilo. We have 10 raised to 6, which is called as mega. 10 raised to 9, giga. And 10 raised to 12, tera. Now these words are also called as prefixes. Now what do we mean by prefix? It is nothing but the word comes before the actual unit. For example, if I have gram, if I want to convert it, in, convert it into kilogram, then I will use a prefix kilogram. For mega, we call it as megagram, etc. On the lower side, we have lower prefixes, that is milli, 10 raised to minus 3, micro 10 raised to minus 6, nano 10 raised to minus 9 and pico that is 10 raised to minus 12. So for every unit we may have these prefixes based on the value of the number. For example we may have milligram, microgram, nanogram, picogram or millimeter, micrometer, nanometer, picometer etc. Now we will discuss about conversions of units from one system into another system. The first conversion we will discuss is lower to higher that is converting lower unit into higher one. To do that we have to divide given number by the factor of the unit in which we have to convert. For example, if I want to convert gram to kilogram, I need to understand the factor for kilo is 10 raised to 3. So, whatever value given in gram, I will divide that value with the factor of kilo that is 10 raised to 3. So, when I divide x by 10 raised to 3, I get x into 10 raised to minus 3 kilogram. Similarly, if I want to convert micrometer to kilometer, I need to understand that micro is on left side of your standard reference, whereas kilo is on right side of the standard reference. So, first whatever value given in micrometer, I will represent that value in meter which is my standard reference. So x micrometer pay attention this is the sign of micro that is also called as mu. x micrometer can be written as x into 10 raised to minus 6. If I want to convert this micrometer into kilometer as we know we have to divide it by given factor. So the factor for kilo is 10 raised to 3. So for 
x into 10 raised to minus 6, I will divide it by the factor of kilo that is 10 raised to 3. When this 10 raised to 3 will go up in the numerator, we can represent it as x into 10 raised to minus 9 kilometer. Now, when we want to convert higher units to lower units, the way here we have divided, here we will multiply them with the given factor. For example, if I want to convert kilogram to gram, I know that the factor for kilo is 10 raised to 3. So, for the value given in gram, I will multiply with 10 raised to 3. Suppose I want to convert megabyte to byte. Now, as I said, whenever no suffix, I'm sorry, no prefix is used, it is called as standard reference. So, byte is my standard reference. Mega has the factor 10 raised to 6. So, to convert megabyte to byte, I have to multiply number by 10 raised to 6. So, in this video, we have understood that to convert lower scales of unit to higher scales, I have to divide them by the given factor. Whereas, to convert higher scales to lower scales, we have to multiply them by given factor. Please remember this scale of unit. We will need it while solving numericals in physics. Thank you.